everyone, this is Jebro. Little bit of a mix-up guide today. We've got three parts or so for you. Um, you got here through the little menu system. Basically, this is going to be this section on wallets. So if you press I or whatever keybind you've got for your inventory, of course, you can go down to the wallet tab here. You can just give it a bit of a click and you'll see that all your currencies are in this section here. So if you're wondering where some items have gone, I can tell you where they've gone. They've gone here. Those items would be the pristine re uh, fractal relics, the World v World Tournament claim tickets, the geodes, and the banded crests. So these items will be automatically converted to the new versions of the currencies when the character holding them logs in. So apparently you do need to make sure you log into all your characters to make sure this does go through successfully for you. So it will go into this uh, currency part, this part of the uh, inventory, which is the wallet, and you'll be able to see them on the right hand side. So, you know, there's, uh, for example, pristine relics, uh, fractal relics right there. So it's going to be good to have all this stuff now in one place. Still some other stuff which probably could be in there. But, you know, every time we get a new revamp of the wallet, they put something else in. So it's always something they're going to be evolving and uh, creating as well as they go on. There's not really much else to say. In terms of the skill points, though, they were converted into the spirit shards. So spirit shards have gone into your inventory as well. So when you log into a character, those um, those scrolls of knowledge will be converted into spirit shards as well. So hopefully you spent those the way you wanted to spend them on your characters before the patch hit. Um, whether or not you needed to get extra traits or skills or whatever or utilities for your alts and whatnot as well. Um, otherwise they'll be converted into spirit shards. So those spirit shards will also be very useful, of course, for going and spending them the way that you spent those skill points before. So near the Mystic Forge, and you know, there's the vendor there, uh, Mariani, who can uh, buy the different rep recipes, such as, you know, the World v. World Siege books, the uh, different crafting materials to craft different weapons and whatnot as well. So all that's gone into spirit shards, which makes some sense, you know. Um, they've got the uh, actual currency for that now, rather than, you know getting the skill point and then actually spending those points. So it's a pretty good system. Um, it's not really much to it. You can see your gold and karma as well down in the bottom right hand corner. And that's pretty much it for the wallet. Um, I did speak about this previously before in a preparation video. This was going to be a tiny part of it. But this is pretty much the new wallet. I like it. It's pretty good. You can see everything's highlighted if you've got it. If not, it's greyed out and below um, the stuff which is highlighted. So thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to check out the rest of this guide. Hi guys, it's Jebro again. Um, or it could be for the first time if you just clicked on this part of the guide first and you wanted to know what's going on with your hero tab and uh, to see what exactly is going on with the traits. Now if you're logged in, of course, you might be a bit confused. If you have, you don't know anything about what's going on, I'm not sure where you've been. You might, have been coming, you might be coming back actually, to be honest. And you're thinking, wow, I, need to, I just need some help. Um, where's all my stuff gone? What do I do now? Um, okay, well I'll tell you. Press H, your hero uh, UI will pop up. You will get the same usual tab as you had before, so equipment, wardrobe and whatnot. But then you go to build, and things have changed quite a lot. And if you weren't aware of this, then I'm going to give you the information right here. What's happened is, now I'm on my engineer at the moment, so you can see it's kind of graphical. Each uh, trait line is represented here. So if you can see on the right hand side, which I'm going to bring up in the video as well, is that the old trait lines have been put into free now. So you can only select from free, whereas last time you could obviously pick from five. This is streamlining the system a little bit more. So now you have to, if you've got a trait line, you, you go full into it. You can see here, the exact traits that I've picked. So, um, by reselecting them, in, if you've already got this line active, you don't click on them to deselect them, you just click to shift it around. So as you can see there, you, I can uh, switch over from advanced turrets to, say, medical uh, dispersion field. It's as easy as that, you know, you can see the line connecting them, you can clearly tell if you've got something connected, uh, sorry, selected, because it's highlighted as well, which is very important. Now at the moment I've got inventions, firearms and explosives. But where's alchemy? How do I get these other lines in? Basically what I do is I just click here and I go onto alchemy for example. 
Simple as that. You can uh, you can put any of them into any line you want. But as you can see there, alchemy is actually locked. Now that's going to be something I'll go on into a second. Let's not uh, jump the gun. But basically, let's go back to what we had before. Oh no, we'll leave, we'll leave it on this just for a moment. So as you can see, it's locked up at the moment. On the left hand side, you can see that alchemy and tools are completely greyed out. Now you know what, um, what you've got to actually unlock here, which is kind of useful. Um, I'm not sure how low level that pops up because I'm level 80 at the moment on this character. You can also see that your, some of your utilities and elite skills are also greyed out. That's because you've got to train those up. Now, if you're level 80 and this has already been fully trained, I'm, I'm this is definitely going to be already unlocked for you and it should be absolutely fine. You probably won't have to worry about this. But if you're leveling up a new character, then you're going to have to uh, level up these utilities, elites, your traits and whatnot as well, as you can see here. As we go to weapon skills as well, you can see all the different weapon skills available to you. And if you're under level 80 or if you're under the level cap that where you can get access to these weapon sets, then of course they'll be greyed out in different areas as well. Um, but yeah, that pretty much explains this area. It's pretty easy to use. You can see your current layout here, very much like the UI that you have in your main window. You can see all your tool belt skills if you're an engineer, of course. Um, if your other class is whatever, if your F1 is, and also, you know, your heal, your utilities, and your elite skill, as well as your main hand and off hand, or your two hand weapon. So, next, how do we get these traits? How do we get these ungrade? How do we get these utilities out, out, uh, outgrade? And also the elite skill as well. Well, you go to training. This is a new way of training. And before it was fairly easy. You just had the different levels of the utilities, and you just added an ex you know, added a ton of skill points, and you just got through them that way. Now this way is different. Core skills. Let's, go, let's click on elixir training because it's going to be a bit easier. It's going to be your utilities. So here you can unlock your utilities literally by training through them. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you click on, let's go for kit training actually because we're almost we're almost through this so at the moment we've got med kit we've got flamethrower we've got grenade kit we've got elixir gun and we've got the tool kit we've only got two more to go bombs and uh, mortar kit aren't unlocked yet now mortar kit is a new thing of course it used to be just a mortar now it's a kit but that's another video um so it costs five points to train so five and as you go around the circle obviously it takes more so in the top left hand corner here you can see the hero points which is what the um, skill points have been converted into now. So the way you got skill points before is now how you get the uh, hero points. And that's not completely true because the scrolls, of course, now convert into the shards, which is the currency which I mentioned in the wallet part of this video. So, unspent hero points, you can see them up there. Train. And we have now unlocked most of the utilities well, we've, and uh, elites for the kits. So, no, all the kits are unlocked. All done. So now we should be able to pick mortar kit and we should be able to pick the bomb kit as well. Awesome. So that's how you uh, train up your kits, of course, as well as your other core skills as well. So if you're um, any class and you've got utilities and elites, of course, which everyone does, um, you will be unlocking it in exactly the same way. So if we go to gadgets, the AI, the AED is a uh, heal in the gadgets tree. And then there we go. So it's any utility. So imagine if you're a guardian and you've got shouts, like all your shouts will be here, same as a warrior. Um, elementalists, glyphs, any, anything, any utility wise, it will be in this circle. It looks very nice as well. The illustration there is quite cool. Obviously it will pertain to your class which makes complete sense. Elixir training as well, we can train that fully up unless I click no, which I won't do again. But as you can see, as you go round the circle, as you progress round it, the skill points that you need to assign to these skills will go up. Now the progression of that, um, I'm not sure how they decided which one is going to be the which one, but you know the elite is obviously going to be the last one because that's the mega skill that you want to get, so obviously that would be the most expensive. And then the old levels of skill points, when you went through the trees, you saw it going down and you saw this big massive blue arrow that pointed down in your old PvE tree, then that, that's probably how they've worked out this circle and how you progress around it. 
Now, if you go to uh, core specializations, now this, the trait lines have been named core specializations now. So as I showed you before, here in the uh, traits um, tab over on this part of the bar, we've got alchemy and we've got tools not currently unlocked. So training, core specializations, here we go. And then you do it in exactly the same way. But you just go through and you actually level them up in the circle. You don't actually have really much of a choice because you know this the way this works is this is a tree that you have to select three skills, three um, different traits from. So you have to unlock all three before you can move on to the next one. So we are gonna just max out this alchemy line uh, specialization, I should call it rather than trait line now. Um, and then we've got tools. So let's just max everything out here. But as you can see, yeah. It just stays at a certain amount of points for a few of the traits, and then as you go around, you know, each one is eight, and then there were six, and so on, around the circle. So now we have everything from the trait lines unlocked. If we go down, you can see that everything is highlighted. That is everything you have trained now. You have now trained everything you possibly can for your character. So if we go back into build, now we can collect, select uh, the different stuff that we had before, so alchemy, is now existing. Good stuff. We've got tools as well somewhere. There you go. So then we've got those empty traits and now we need to select them obviously. So you can see the line connects. We've got the minor traits there, the adepts, and we can go in between each one. So you can see what you've not selected. So there's no connection there and you can just highlight them and then all is good in the world. We are all joyful and happy. It's a pretty easy system. Um, Maybe when you get into the game, it might be a bit of a mind screw. Um, <laughs> because, you know, if you've not been playing for a while and you suddenly see tra three trait lines instead of five, you might just think, oh, well, then maybe this extends and I've got to unlock something. No, it's gone from five lines to three. Trait lines are now called core specializations. And then we'll get the elite specialization, which will come with Heart of Thorns, and that will be what goes in this section. So whenever you pick the elite, you have to put it in that bottom line, and then you pick the other two cores. That's quite simple as well, because you've got this gold kind of bar that goes round the rectangle of this straight line. And uh, it's always going to be the elite in there. You can't stick it in one of the others. So... I hope that was some good info. I'm very aware that people will already be aware of this info. But if you weren't and if you just need the quick refresher and maybe some things changed in the UI since you actually saw them um, being practiced on uh, points of interest already up and whatnot, then this is the way it's going to look on the 23rd of June and onwards uh, until Heart of Thorns more than likely. So... Thank you very much, and we're going to go on to the next part of the guide. And over in PvP, we can see, obviously, the traits will change there as well because of the whole system, and that's it's going to follow through to every game mode, obviously. Um, so going into PvP build at the top of the screen, still this part of the uh, UI is, is the same, but one thing you'll notice is that the stats on the amulets have completely changed because what has happened in the trait lines, as you can see, there's nothing telling you about stats. You don't long. You no longer get stats according to these lines, so you can trade how you want without having to worry about going into a particular line to get precision, ferocity, condition damage, um, whatever you want. You know, now you don't have to worry about that. You can have these. Okay, you get bonuses to healing power and stuff like that inside these trait lines, but there's no flat stats in these lines anymore. That's where you assign amulets, especially in PvP. That's where all your stats are going to be, as long as as well as the rune as well, of course, and some extra stats coming out of those sigils. So that's where your stats are going to come from. So there's going to be some increase to these, such as like carry an amulet in live um, beforehand was actually 650, 650, 932, and now it's 900, 900, 1200. So there's a significant boost of those stats. So that's pretty cool. So basically, that's pretty nice. I mean, I it's nice because now you don't have to. Not saying that that's what PvP has did before, but maybe PvE, and you can just get some more extra, some extra stats in there that you really, really wanted to have. So I think it's going to open things up a bit. Maybe some different builds and whatnot as well. Who knows? I mean, it's just you know theory from that at the moment because it's quite early on. So again, still, this is how you change trait lines. 
pretty self-explanatory. In PvP, most of this is available, uh, other than the stuff you have to pay for, which is going to be, for example, the uh, sigils and whatnot, which still, if they are unlocked, you can just double-click, and you can purchase those. So, that's the difference between the trait system now. Well, this is the brand new trait system that's in now. Enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like the trait line? Do you like the way things are going at the moment with this? I'm pretty interested to know what you think. I hope this guide helped you. I hope it was informative. Um, if not, chuck a dislike. <laughs> um, but otherwise, make sure you chuck a like down below. Um, comment, subscribe, and uh, check all the info in the description below as well. Cheers, guys. Thanks.